Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So in this video, we will be repotting our overwatered succulent. If you have not watched the video how to revive an overwatered succulent, I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out because this is going to be the remaining part of the video. So now as you can see, I said that I'm not going to be changing the pot and I'm not going to be changing the soil. The soil is going to remain the same, but I had let it dry. Now it took a little bit time for the soil to be completely dry. Now as you can see, my soil is completely dry from let me check the beneath. You can see it's completely dry, which means that the soil is bone dry so now what i'm going to be doing is i will be adding my overwatered succulent now this or i would say it was an overwatered succulent is no longer an overwatered succulent so this one leaf it's okay it's little damaged that's fine i'll leave it as it is as and when uh, it tends to get dried up it will fall automatically now this is how the roots tend to look like i haven't cut any of the roots because i didn't see the roots were turning dark in color or black in color in case if the roots are black in color and when you tend to touch it if it's mushy then you have to cut it off immediately if you tend to see that your roots are uh, soft mushy if they have turned black in color then definitely you have to cut it off but in my case you can see the stem was also very stiff it's not mushy the roots are not mushy they are very stiff which means that the plant was in the initial stage of overwatering and i was able to save it now the next thing what i'm going to do is it's very simple just hold the stem and then just put it back into the soil now the soil is bone dry but I am not going to water it because it had already taken a lot of water so I'm going to keep it aside 6 to 7 days after 6 to 7 days I will water it but right now the most important thing is where we are going to place this succulent now this succulent is going to be placed in indirect but bright light no direct sunlight for few days until it starts to recover or it starts to show new signs of growth so it's going to be kept in indirect but really bright light and the watering as I said I'm not going to do the watering right away uh, the watering might be done after uh, let's say five or six days again depending if the succulent tends to put out any wrinkles on the leaves i will go ahead and water it or most probably i will keep it under water for some time because it has taken off a lot of water so i'm just going to leave it aside you can see overall the succulent was not looking very healthy the leaves are very uneven uh, because some of the leaves fell off because they were over watered they turned mushy so uh, some of the leaves fell off but now you can see there is a lot of new growth that is happening in the center of the succulent on the crown area so we have to focus on that the old leaves will eventually start to fall and then the rosette will be complete it will start looking better after a while but right now we have to give good amount of care Keep it in indirect bright light water only when the soil is completely bone dry so that's all about it it was pretty simple as i've said this earlier as well the earlier you notice the much better it is i noticed it quite early that it was getting overwatered, and i immediately uh, sprung into action and changed and removed the succulent out of the soil so it's very important that whatever happens whether it's rot whether it's a mealybug attack the earlier you see the much success rate you are going to have so guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you and thank you so much for watching.